My name is Anne Kennedy and I'm the Chair of Zero Emissions Noosa. So this is our flagship event that um, we do once a year and this is the fourth one that we've done. The reason for doing the EV Expo is to raise awareness of more sustainable transport options available in Noosa for locals and for visitors. So we've got all types of vehicles here today. We've got e-cars, trucks, buses, e-bikes, e-scooters, motorbikes, mobility vehicles. So anything like that that you want to try out. Not the truck, unfortunately, or the cars, but you can try all the others. These are the transport options for now, not for the future, for now. So you can charge your EV uh, car from your solar panels at home or, you, or work, or you can use your EV car to power your home at night. So before we go any further, I'd like to uh, acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land. In the spirit of reconciliation, Zen Inc. acknowledges the traditional custodians of the country throughout Australia and their connections to land, sea and community. We pay our respect to their elders, past and present, and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders peoples today. We have uh, a number of dignitaries here this morning with us to share the day. Uh, unfortunately, Minister Bailey, who was going to open the event, is an apology at the last minute. He's opened the previous three EV events, along with um, Sandy Bolton, our State MP for Noosa, and uh, Councillor Wilkie, who's here representing Noosa Council. Unfortunately, Minister Bailey um, isn't able to attend, but he passes on his best wishes. So we thank you, Sandy, for uh, coming to join us, and Sandy will be speaking with us soon, and also um, Councillor Frank Wilkie, our Deputy Mayor, who is um, standing in for um, Mayor Clare, who is an apology, she's away overseas, and we'll hear from Councillor Wilkie soon. I uh, can't see any other councillors in the audience yet, but we are expecting some others to, to join us today, and they'll be very welcome. I'd like to acknowledge and thank our partners and sponsors because without these people, we wouldn't have an EV Expo, particularly uh, Noosa Council, and I'd like to acknowledge the huge contribution from Council as a partner for this event, for things like seed funding to help us get started, traffic management, traffic logistics, and all the other things that have gone on behind the scenes for the last six months to make this happen. Zen really values the partnership we have with Noosa Council for this event and also for funding we have for some of our other Zen projects, past and present. We want to um, give a special uh, vote of thanks to Council staff who've done the work, Renee Black, to Lance Pierce, and to say web, and they'll be out busily doing things. They're not here with us now. But all three have really pulled out stops to make the expo happen, along with Adam Ritten um, from Council. So a big thank you to Noosa Council. Noosa Junction Association is the other uh, partner with us today. And unfortunately, uh, Dave Langdon, the president, couldn't be with us. But Ju Judy Laylor and Judy Barkman have been doing a fantastic job helping us with promotion uh, and spot getting sponsors and marketing of the event. So we really appreciate their support. And I think it was their initiative, Vivian, that the road be closed and um, it be more of a festival this year than we've had in the past. So um, a great effort. Our sponsors, we want to give a huge thank you to all of you because without you, we wouldn't have the event. Your support has enabled Zen Inc and our partners to put on this event. I'd like to um, firstly acknowledge uh, our major sponsor, Coastline BMW, and Belinda Jones is with us here, I think. Belinda, thank you for coming along and other representatives here today. So visit their stand, check out their electric BMW vehicles, including the electric Mini. Unfortunately, you can't drive them today, but you can make arrangements with them to have a test drive later on. We'd also like to acknowledge our other major sponsor, which is Greenfleet, and thank you to Wayne Westcott, their CEO, who's with us in the audience today. Great to have you with us, Wayne. For over 25 years, Greenfleet have helped businesses across Australia and New Zealand 
to offset their emissions from their vehicle fleets by planting 10 million trees in our forests. So a great achievement. Thank you. Our other sponsors include um, Chloe Studios, which is located in uh, Lanyana Way here in Noosa, Chloe Toza. And we've got Chloe to thank for sponsoring the marquee here today for our speaker's tent with all the chairs, etc. So a big thanks to Chloe. Go and have a look at her boutique showroom and interior design studio. Um, not sure that it's open today, but you can come back uh, during the week and check that out. Tourism Noosa, unfortunately Melanie Anderson, the CEO, is not able to be with us today, but Tourism Noosa um, have helped us with um, marketing for this event. And we have Max Webberley, the chair. Is Max here with us right now? Hi Max, sorry, haven't met you as yet. So um, thank you for coming along today. We really appreciate Tourism Noosa's support and um, all the work that you do towards making Noosa a more sustainable tourism destination. So you and Zen are on the same page about that. RACV Noosa Resort and this in Australia, Darren McLennan. Have we got Darren with us yet? He might be still on the way. Um, they have a relax and recharge exhibit here today and it's a chance for you if you go and visit their Nissan Leaf and register their accommodation package down at their stand, a chance to win a great accommodation package for four people at um, RACV Resort. That will be drawn before the end of the day about quarter to two by Hot 91.1. So hang around for that after you've registered with the QR code. You can also register at our Zen Marquee for that competition, which is right at the end of Arcadia Walk. Uh, Noosa Landcare, we've got Phil Moran with us. Where's Phil? Thank you, Phil, for um, being with us today. A big shout out to our friends at Landcare, who've provided a voucher for free trees for the first 250 passengers coming to the expo on the free sun bus today, so helping to be sustainable and use sustainable a sustainable way to get here. So take, <laughs> if you're one of those people, take your voucher to the land care tent and talk to those people about how you get your tree. Sixth car rental, where are the people from Sixth? They were going to be with us in the tent, but they're too busy out talking to people. <laughs> So thank you to them uh, for being with us today. They've got their white Tesla out on um, Sunshine Beach Road, so go and talk to them about uh, your next car rental. I'd now like to introduce um, the um, member for Noosa, Sandy Bolton, um, to say some brief words. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Anne, and uh, welcome, everybody. And I acknowledge the traditional custodians on uh, this amazing land in which we meet. But I acknowledge all the incredible people that uh, do the work in the space, uh, and Zen, uh, Anne, and your team. You know, incredible. Of course, you know, I'd like to acknowledge Viv. Where are you, Viv? Amazing, sitting straight behind me. Everyone that's in attendance, and of course, Councillor Frank. And I've just had a hot date with Councillor Frank at the uh, Arts Theatre, so we've seen a lot of each other this week. Um, of course, and to all supporters and partners, this just would not be possible without you. So, yes, I know you want to have a word there, but no, you can't. Um, Look, it is really wonderful. It's been four years um, that we've been showcasing the incredible um, efforts. And what um, what I really love about Noosa and being the MP for Noosa is the, the efforts over many years working towards a sustainable future. And it's not just with EVs. Um, whether we are increasing our protected areas, whether we're ensuring that we're utilising existing spaces to accommodate our needs. And this has been really difficult, and I'm sure everyone's seen that with the housing crisis and why we need innovation more than ever within our must-haves. Um, and through this, this expo and Queensland Government's uh, zero emissions vehicle, vehicle strategy, we hope that many more will take up uh, charging up and jumping in an electric vehicle. But we do know, and I've spoken about this I think last time, it's, it's about affordability and accessibility. And for the majority of people to do that transition, we must, must push there. Um, there's so many positive impacts from our EVs, including uh, the unique career opportunities for our youngsters. 
And today, of course, we've got our local schools here and universities, um, and they are actually part also of the advanced manufacturing and STEM studies. And, uh, you know, these guys are bursting at the seams, and I've been working with Minister Grace Grace and um, to Annetta to be able to expand the facilities because what they've got at the moment for 400 students is not enough and that is just one school alone. And it's a big part of our future. So um, examples of innovation everywhere. I think the grade sixes from Sunshine Beach, they're demonstrating is it the swap and go batteries um, that can be used in Ferraris as well as combis. So I don't know whether it'll throw it in my little car, but hopefully it will. Uh, Matthew Flinders, uh, they've actually converted a diesel Land Rover into an electric vehicle. So um, I know that we were told we can't drive them, but how I wish we could, because I'd love to jump in that one. Um, look, there's so many stu student-based initiatives and innovations, um, and I think, you know, when we all work together in these zero emissions, it, it's, it's not just one area, but again, it's about accessibility and affordability. So um, thank you, enjoy today. I can't wait to get out there and hobble along with one grizzly bear um, to check out. And even though I can't test run those cars, someone might let me on a bike maybe. So thank you everyone, have an awesome day. Thank you very much, Sandy. And um, I'd like to invite Councillor Frank Wilkley now to say a few words. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, everybody. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians on the land in which we meet, the Kabi Kabi or Gabi Gabi people, pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. I'd also like to acknowledge, um, even though it's not here, Minister Bailey's support for the Noosa EV event, and also um, for MP Sandy Bolton, who um, she, she advocates for Noosa tirelessly in the halls and the chambers down in, in Parliament House. So it's, it's great to have her here today. As you heard, um, the Noosa EV Expo is in its fourth year. Council's proud to support this event. But it's it's a, a collective event. And um, everything you see here today, basically, with the help of Council, is a result of volunteer efforts of the Zen uh, Inc. community group. So if you see someone in a, green, a lime green shirt today, please thank them for making today happen. And the principal drivers here, Anne Kennedy, Vivian Griffin, deserve special thanks. <laughs> the shift towards a more sustainable future is a collective effort. And also, thanks for uh, Phil Moran, Landcare, Max Weberly, Tourism Noosa for being here as well. And also I'd like to acknowledge my fellow councillor, Tom Wegman, who's here today. Um, the commit, uh, the um, just like electric vehicles themselves, this global move towards this technology is advancing, accelerating rapidly, and these expos demonstrate our collective will to be part of the change, this inevitable change. The council is committed to playing this part on several fronts. These include the work to deliver a sustainable and effective transport network, and in preparing our community to reap the enormous benefits and opportunities inherent in building community resilience for climate change. I'd like to acknowledge Noosa Council has a team of highly dedicated transport and climate change officers here today. I'd like to mention them because they work side by side with Zen Inc and other community organisations, all the other organisations in the Shire who are bending their, themselves towards this purpose and they include Annie, Annie Nolan who's the Project Officer for Carbon Reduction, Environment and Sustainable Development, Sally Jensen to Climate Change Project Officer, Cheyenne Barn, Barmand, Project Coordinator Climate Change, Adam Britton, Project Manager Transport Innovation, Joe Ferris, Project Officer Transport, Land, and Lance Pierce, who's a Project Officer Capital Works, and Renee Dwight Black, who's a Project Officer of Transport, is just an indication of the commitment from the Minister Council staff and the organisation. Uh, Lance and Renee organised today's tra changed traffic conditions which is something, uh, it's no small feat, and it's something we're hoping to organise long term. Um, but also the pedestrianisation of Sunshine Beach Road is an interesting experiment. I think once it, it happens, once it happens once, it bends the mean and helps everyone understand how easy it, it can be. On, uh, so that's fantastic that uh, Zen has proposed that we do that. And also that the Noosa Junction Association was so open to it. So they're obviously a forward-thinking organisation as well, which is much to their credit.
Today we collectively learn more about electric vehicles and the larger worldwide movement towards the technology that, given soaring fuel costs, is more economical, cleaner and helps mitigate the impacts of climate change. Sustainable transport is one of eight themes in our climate change response plan. Emissions from transport account for 33% of Noosa's carbon footprint. And working to eliminate them also brings opportunities to reduce traffic noise, reduce pollution, reduce congestion, create healthier people and places, and creates cost savings for households and a more prosperous community. As cited in the Noosa Transport Strategy principles, we are committed to accommodating changes in transportation technology. Designing for, encouraging and facilitating transport options that reduce emissions produced by our community. And under the Noosa Transport Strategy outcomes, we're in the process of designing a transport network that encourages an overall shift away from private cars towards more sustainable transport modes, including walking, cycling, public transport, electric vehicles and motorcycles and scooters. We're committed to a transport system that supports our local lifestyle by delivering both active and public transport infrastructure, which is why Noosa Council, with the help of the State Government, are designing and delivering projects like Noosa Parade and the Noosa Drive Pathway Project that give over much more of the road reserve and tips the balance in favour of pedestrians and cyclists, and will accommodate this shift towards electric personal transport, especially e-bikes and e-scooters. In regards to the Noosa Parade project, the 1.2 kilometre long Noosa Parade upgrade is planned to be completed in late October. The major upgrade will provide improved and safer access for road users by reducing the speed limit cut for all vehicles to 40 kilometres an hour, providing wider, dedicated and continuous on-road cycle lanes in both directions, upgrading the northern pathways to 2.5 metres wide and 3 metres wide where possible, Upgrading the southern pathway to 1.5 metre wide, providing eight, eight mid-block pedestrian refuges and improved LED lighting. Work will also include enhanced landscaping and new trees that will provide extra shade and improve visual amenity, make it a more attractive place to ride and walk. <coughs> that million dollar project is uh, partially funded by the Department of Transport, uh, with the balance funded by Council. Another key outcome of the strategy that fo focuses on moving people and not necessarily cars is that transport initiatives result in significantly reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Transport and transport services around the world are rapidly evolving. As part of this shift, Noosa Council continues to embrace innovative solutions and keep a watching brief on smart technology and transport research to suit our specific needs. The Go Noosa program also encourages residents and visitors to make the switch to sustainable transport options. They are funded by the Sustainable Transport Levy and our staff are, are working with schools to help student, encourage students to walk and cycle to and from school or catch public transport. And um, I think that's more than enough for me. Um, the important thing is that uh, collectively we're uh, embracing the future and today is just an example of how that's uh, taking place. But full credit to Zen Inc. for making today happen. I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Frank, and uh, just before we, I hand over to Brian to be our MC for today, I'd like to thank our fantastic Zen Inc. team who's been behind organising this event. Uh, I'm only a bigger head. I'd really like to um, pay tribute to Vivian Griffin, our founder, who has organised four of these events. So, big hand to Vivian. And Megan Halverson, our right-hand uh, person at Zen, who's walked back just at the right time. A uh, big thank you to Megan. And all the other people who've helped put on the event today. I'd just like to acknowledge Councillor Wegener, who's joined us since I did the official acknowledgements. And um, I'm going to hand over now to Brian Hooper. I'd really like to thank Brian and his partner, Kathleen, um, who've organised the speakers for today and this whole uh, part of the program. So have a great day everybody and um, we'll see you soon.